by the Tsunami Shield here. It's a 3,000 reel, and I'm going to be spooling it. It's the first time ever opening it. Nice little case. So first I'm gonna tighten it. I am putting together the Tsunami Travel Rod and Reel Combo. I just took it out of the packaging, so I'm just getting it set up. And then I'm going to spool this reel. This reel is actually set up, um, it can handle 10 pound, 15 pound, or 20 pound braid. And I'm actually gonna put um, 10 pound braid on it. I usually fish for trout and redfish, so the 10 pound braid will be just fine for that. And this seven foot line is a, uh, this is actually a heavy, which is a little overkill for what we're doing today, but I do have a um, medium fast rod at home that I'll be using as well. So. First, I take it and I put the line through the first guide on the rod. And then, it's easier if it's like, lay it down. The line, I will just do an overhand knot, just like so. And then I will wrap it around the reel and do two overhand knots. One overhand, and then one overhand, knot, and the key is to keep this knot outside of that knot, and then you can just tighten it down, see how it tightens down, just by pulling the line down, and then you can flip off your excess line with your pliers. And I hold tension on the line while I'm reeling it in. This prevents you from getting any kind of loop knots, or wind knots, I mean. It'll sing to you. So with 10 pound, you can use 200 yards of line. Usually keep like I think it's a quarter to three eighths of an inch from the the spool right here. Make sure you just don't have too much line on it. So that should be about good. And then I will clip it spool. Loosen up the drag. Righty tidy lefty loosey. And then put it through all of the guys. Hold a reel and put the line. Hold up. 